All right, folks, so we're going to do a quick video on measuring current using a multimeter. And uh, for this video, we are going to use a uh, ham radio, a dual band two meter ham radio to um, act as a, uh, as a load. And for a power source, we're going to use a, uh, a BioNO power. It's a lithium iron phosphate battery. It's a 12 volt, 12 amp hour. Um, it's a fantastic battery. Now, some folks may say, well, why are you using that, uh, you know, cheap Chinese radio? And because it's light, it's portable, and it fits nicely on my desk, and that's why we're using it. And uh, for this uh, demonstration, we're going to be uh, transmitting into a dummy load, so that way our signal doesn't get broadcast anywhere, and we don't cause any interference that we don't mean to. Um, so one thing I did want to mention real quick is that, um, just take a quick look at, um, this is an N -N -N it's an AN8008. It's a pretty popular um, uh, multimeter, but we're going to use uh, the common, and then we're going to use this port uh, for measuring um, measuring current, and it is fused at uh, 10 amps, and so we are not going to exceed 10 amps, and that's why this is going to work. What I wouldn't do is I wouldn't use one of these uh, cheaper multimeters. If you take a look at this one, it says 10 amps unfused, and that fuse is a safety device that's probably important. Now. All of that said, I am not an expert, I am not an electrician, I am not an electrical engineer. I am just showing one way to measure current. I'm not recommending that you do this and I'm not instructing you to do this. Should you replicate this experiment, that is your choice and your decision, not mine. And then I'm going to take the weight. Wow. One thing I did want to mention is that I did make some test leads and we are going to use these. Um, in order to do this experiment, what we need to do is we, dis we need to disrupt the connection uh, between our power supply, which is the battery, and our load, which is the radio. So with one of these test leads connected to the radio right here, I'm going to connect one to the negative terminal of another test lead that will ultimately be plugged into my battery. Now, to make sure that these things don't, to make sure that these things don't touch, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to isolate that a little bit. The next thing I need to do is I want to take the positive terminal from my battery, and I want to connect that to the positive probe on my multimeter. Now I'm going to take the positive lead coming from the radio, and I'm going to connect that to the negative lead of my multimeter. So what's happening is as power is coming out of the battery is coming through this positive lead into the multimeter out through, <laughs> through this is coming into the multimeter through this probe and then out through the common. Okay the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to plug in the battery. There you go the battery's plugged in we are going to turn our multimeter to DC amps and then we're going to power up the radio. Okay, everything's working. So what you can see is, is that right now we are at 249 milliamps and that is just the steady draw. Actually, that's probably better laying down. That's just a steady draw. That's what this power, this radio consumes from a, from a current or an amp standpoint when it's sitting idle. It's set to high, so when I key up, we should see this increase. And so we went to, what is that, about 3.35 amps. Now this radio uh, is about 20 to 25 watts, depending upon if it's on UHF or VHF. I would not do this for long periods of time. But as I mentioned, it may be important for you if you're setting up a portable station, a battery powered station, some sort of go box, some kind of emergency prep that uh, you understand how much power you have in your battery and then how long you can power your radio off of that. So just testing again, uh, we are at about 3.35. So you could say 3.36 maybe if you round it up. And sitting idle, we're at about a quarter of an amp or 250 milliamps. All right, well, that's really it. Uh, I do appreciate everybody watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up, leave a comment, 
If you want to see more content of a similar nature, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you.